It is the year 2060, and the world is full of darkness. The Dark Lord and his army have taken over and devoured all the energy in the world. The world is on the brink of annihilation, and our only hope lies in three youngsters, Gary Potter, a child prodigy, and his two friends, Bella and Dross. As they sit together, working out solutions, Bella mentions that years ago, their ancestors used to derive energy through an ancient process called glycolysis. Glycolysis? Yes! Bella here is very well equipped with history and literature. As its name suggests, Glycolysis is the lysis or breakdown of glucose into molecules of pyruvate to generate large amounts of energy. The system has been torn apart by the dark forces, but once we put this back together, the cell world will be a better place again. Oh, that makes sense. As glucose is still available throughout our cell world, we just need to work out a way to convert it into energy. I found this scroll as a map and details about the pathway. And so, our three heroes embark on their journey to save the world. Alright, where do we start? Well, we need to trap the glucose first, so what I can do is, I can call the transport service, Glut, and ask them to transport glucose and bring it to us. They are a free service, so this step will be a piece of cake. And then, we need to make it to the ancient place of Cytosol to start the reaction. The three of them teleport to Cytosol. Bella takes out her phone to track the glute transporter service. So happy to meet the world savior! How can we keep this inside this cytosol? It's so unpredictable! Don't worry, I'll cast a spell that will bind the glucose with phosphate. As for the scroll, phosphate is a very polar group, and it will keep the glucose bound to it. Hexokinase! Oh wow! That's a really effective spell! Yes, it is! Kinase spell takes a substance and binds phosphate into the substance. Cool! Now, let's move further inside. On the way, they encounter many glucose-eaters who try to capture the glucose-6-phosphate. The trio start running, but the glucose-eaters are far too quick on their feet. Suddenly, Bella looks at the scroll and finds out that the glucose-eaters are after the glucose-6-phosphate. Hence, for glycolysis to occur, glucose 6-phosphate should be converted to fructose 6-phosphate as the second step. Our Bella, who is well versed in spells, has an idea. Ross, use a spell called isomerase. It will convert the glucose 6-phosphate to fructose 6-phosphate and this will ward off the glucoeaters. Isomerase! Nothing happens. Wait! Why isn't my spell working? Ross, you need to be more specific here. Add the present substance name backwards to the isomerase and try. You mean like phosphoglucose isomerase? Yes. Uh, okay, here goes phosphoglucose isomerase. The three friends are jubilant with their initial success, and they continue on their way. Soon they reach a gate which says that they may pass only if they have two phosphate groups and invest two ATPs. ATPs are the currency of energy. I can open it! Again! Okay. 